Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Crosswordle, so we'll start with cross. Okay, um, hmm. Thinking about an ER word for the left, so we could try like timer. Okay, there is an E there, but it's not ER. Hmm, what do we do? Let's think about this right word. I'm thinking like SNO or SLO, something like that. Um, snout, no, can't do T. Snoop, double O. Sure, let's try it. Oh, it is double O. Okay, so maybe like, oh, what is it? Not actually sure, but there's an N in the left word, so let's take a look at that. So maybe like an R-E-N word. Ooh, how about Raven, actually? Let's try that. It is Raven. Wow. Okay. Out of nowhere. Uh, the right word, I still have no idea. I keep thinking of words that it can't be, like spoof or swoop. That P seems really important. Um, okay, so common S... Common letters that follow S. S H O O. Can't be shoot. And I can't think of anything else it would be. S W O O. Still can't think what that would be other than swoop. S L O O. Like what else can I actually go after that S? S K O O? <laughs> Let's go to school. <laughs> um, not Y. Probably not a vowel. Not U. Not D. Not F. Not G. We looked at H. J. K. L. Z. Okay, it's something I, I looked at already, but I didn't see the word. Is something like shul a word? It accepted it. Okay, it's shoe something. Shook. Oh my gosh. How did I not see that? Should have gotten shook. I didn't even think shul was a word. <laughs> okay. Well, I got there. Still with one guess to spare. Let's do fibble. Ooh, okay. So usually I would consider one of these grays as lying, but I don't know how I'd make a word unless there's like an A something NLY word or M something NAY. I don't really see it. So let's just assume that. Let's assume the A is lying. Is there like an A N Y word? Like manly? Oh, <laughs> like manly. Yes. Like like the first word. Um, how about Sandy? That works. Ooh, we got our X wing. So one of these A's is lying. One of these N's is lying. That's two lies for two guesses. So the remaining ones are truthful. So it could be something like candy. All right. We have another X-wing, so the A's are correct. The C is correct, the Y is correct, okay. Um, in fact, we know that D is correct, so that D is lying, which means that N is lying, which means that A is lying. So it is, it's another Andy word. All right, handy maybe? There we go. Wow, I just stumbled right into it. <laughs> we had a lot of information from Manly, so it's not too surprising. Pretty easy day today. Um, let's move on. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Ooh, gen is weird. Short for generate or generation. Rev. This is an, another shortening. Rev. All right. Doctor, professor, reverend, and Ms. Are these like, uh, what, what are those called? Titles? Not not titles, right? Like what you'd put before a name. One away. Maybe not Rev then. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll have to move on. Um, charcoal and black are colors of black. Hmm. Ink. What else is black? Or dark. 
I don't know. A sign and an omen? Okay. What else would be like that? A uh, warning, maybe? A message? Sure, let's try it. There we go. Indication of things to come. Okay. <laughs> um... Ooh. Something like charcoal and black go together, but... Okay, so Rev, Doctor, Ms, and Prof was one away. The problem is I don't see how anything else goes with those. Um, so I'm not interpreting that right. Bell. Bell feels out of place. So does Ghost. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. Pastel is weird. Pastel, ink, paint, and charcoal are, are mediums for art. Exactly, art mediums. Okay. Um, this was one away. So what goes with this? I mean, it's gotta be Jen, right? I don't know what Jen would be. I'm tempted to remove Ms and put in Jen, but I don't know what, what do Ghost, Black, and Bell have to do with each other? That's probably the purple category. Or Jen goes with them. Okay, I'm gonna try this and see if it's still one away. That is still one away. Okay, so... It probably means both of these are in it. Because otherwise we'd have to include Ghost, Black, or Bell with these, which doesn't seem right. So I need to add in Ms and remove Prof, Doctor, or Rev. Let's remove prof. I don't know why. That's one away. Okay. So I think I'm on the right track. I just, I don't know if rev or doctor needs to be removed is the problem. Ghost, black, and bell. I have no idea. That's the problem. Okay. I'm going to put keep Rev in there and, and put Doctor with these. Name prefixes, okay. I, I've been thinking about this, I have no idea. So let's just lock it in. Pepper, oh. Bell Pepper, Black Pepper, Doctor Pepper, and Ghost Pepper, yikes. Yeah, I, I could have thought of that, but I did, definitely did not, <laughs> definitely did not. All right, well, at least I didn't lose. I don't know what made me go with Rev instead of Doctor. I just couldn't think what Rev would mean other than a name prefix. But I mean, it is a name prefix for Dr. Pepper, so I don't know. Anyway, got lucky. Let's do cross wordle. So what we're doing in this game is we're reconstructing someone's wordle solve, but they are not dummies. Uh, they, they always go use the information they've got. So this R is definitely true. I like to work bottom up. I feel like that works better. Um, so this letter needs to be an M, P, or H, which seems a bit strange before an R. What can we, okay, maybe, maybe a P. Like we can't do opera, but maybe we can do a PR. And then this needs to be an M, O, or H. I think it's gotta be O, or we just won't be able to build, build a word at all. So maybe something like apron. Okay, so we'll do apron, and then here, this can't be the P, so it needs to be the R or the O. Let's try the R. And then this needs to be the P or the O. So maybe the P. 
And then we can't use the A or the N again. So something like crimp, but no, I can't use the M. Crisp. Okay. I may have put myself in a corner here, but we are going to try an R here. Um, something like is blurry has two R's. Um, blurt. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Blurt, crisp, apron, and morph. And I didn't even have to use any weird words. All right, I'm curious what other than apron uh, can be there. So let's go through some solutions. Throw. Wow, completely different than I was thinking. Yeah, THR is probably common there. Throb, there's apron. Throb, throw, apron. Yeah, throb, throw, and apron are the three choices there. A lot of options for the top, but it's almost it's always R here. Always R there. A lot of words that end in O, though, interestingly. All right, let's do polygonal. Uh, make sure Hexpert's on. All right, an eight letter word. This repeats and this repeats. So I think I need to do like D-E-D -E -D or something. Um, re re uh, re Remanded. Okay, the E is correct, but not the D. Maybe it's N E N, just because that's the other letter I've got. <laughs> um, I don't know if I like N E N, but I don't know if I like anything else. S E S maybe. Hmm. This is gonna be hard to think of. Ten tenses, just without these letters. <laughs> Um, can I somehow salvage that? Not really. Um, I like EN though, but maybe it's not going to work. Like, what am I doing here? I like ISs, but still, it doesn't really help. Send, oh, I can't use the S. Um, I'm thinking this, but it's not, it's not a word. <laughs> All right, maybe not SES. What else can we do here? Um, TET, don't like it. Feels like it's gotta be S. I just I need to figure out how this works. Maybe the N would go here. I think I have to do a filler. I can't think of anything. So what do we want to do for a filler? Um Definitely something that ends with S. We'll do a plural word. Um, stock. I want to get like as many vowels as I can. Stick. I don't really need to repeat the S, do I? But it's it's okay too. But if I just did like. I mean, stickers isn't great, <laughs> right? Um, I thought of children. It tests the N at the end, but I want to use the S somewhere, um, especially at the end. Noisy. <laughs> um, I think it wouldn't be that hard to come up with a word here. Stolen? No. P 
pollinate. <laughs> Not great. Um, slunk. Pickles. Darn, too short. Pickling. Um, we know the end's not there, so that doesn't help. And then I'm not using the S um, at the end. Spunkier. All right, I'm going to go with spunkier because I think that's the best I've come up with so far. Oh, I have to turn off Hexpert. Turn off Hexpert again. There we go. There is an S, which does make me think it's S-E-S. The N doesn't go here, which makes me think it's a N. There's an I and a U. Geniuses. There it is. Well, Spunkier helped. I don't know. I didn't think of. I didn't think of doing I U between the N and the S. I had. I had the E N S E S correct, but I just couldn't fill in the blank. Seventy-seven words, eighteen ordinary, including fibrosis. <laughs> so once I had this E, it wasn't D E D or R E R. Yeah, that's tough. Neurosis, but we didn't have an R. Okay. Well, let's do the mini. Ooh. Taboo. Nope. Swill. Ooh. Wait. Swell. I was like, what else could go there? Nice. Nice and quick. I think that double L ending is, is the good one. Double S also good. Double F for a bit. Okay. Let's do symbol. Start with blaze. Ooh, okay. So the B is probably in place, and then probably like an E here. We could do like um, biter. Okay, so it's B, R, and then an A here maybe. Or it could be an L. Br broad? Hey, I got it in three. Nice. Sweet. And just to check, that was the daily. Yes, okay. I streamed today, so it was on infinite, but I did switch it to daily. Nice. Okay, let's move on to fusel. All right, we're going to start with sternal here. T and N. Tonal? No, can't use the L. Notch. Okay, so it starts with Q, O, P, K, or M. Um, this one's not an N or a T, so neither is this. So these are two new letters, and then I guess maybe like N, T here. Oh, it's probably something like Monty. Oh, no, it's mo month? No, it's not month. But I have to repeat a letter. So how am I going to do that and get as close as I can? Um, darn, I want to test for it. What if I did something like, oh, this isn't an O though. Minty, minty probably. Um, so let's do like I-T-T-Y. Um, we'll accept MIDI? No. Pity? No. Okay, so we'll just do like Biddy or something. All right, I'm pretty sure it's Minty. Yeah, okay. I just couldn't guess it because I had to repeat a letter. All right, that's fine. The hardest part of this solve was figuring out how to test for Minty while repeating a letter here. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do the blind version. We'll start with Minty. Okay, there's a lie. Let's assume it's that N. Let's go like, actually, should we assume it's the T? 
a Y N N I something something Y maybe. The problem is we're gonna get like no info from here. So you know the best thing to do would be to put an I here. Um, if I can do that, because then I'll know if there's an N or an I in the word, which will help me with that lie. Hopefully, there are situations where it wouldn't, but. The problem is, I don't know how to fill this. I just I, I need anything, right? Because I'm not going to get info about it anyway. Um, uh, this is, is there no word with an N and an I there? Would it, would it be easier if I started with an I, put the N there? Like icing? The problem with icing is if the eye is green in the middle, then we don't get that info. But I think we can risk that. All right, I think there's no eye in the word. Because the only other option is the eye is lying as yellow, and it ended up there. So I'm just going to assume there's no eye in the word. Um, we got almost no info, but... Uh... Let's try a word that starts with N. Oh, you know what's fun? Nay. <laughs> okay, now we've definitely confirmed there's no I. We still haven't found where the N goes. Maybe something like un... Unsat. No, there's no T. Um, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe we end in N. Like, oh, can I do something like brown? I can do brown. Okay, finally some info. O and N are in place. This is not an R. Um, it could be another O. That seems hard though. T, maybe ST? What would this be? I kinda wanna do an R here. But this doesn't work. Um, I'm tempted to guess scorn to see if I'm on the right track. Why not? All right, S, O, and N were correct, but not the R or the C. Well, obviously, we knew the C wouldn't be correct. So, oh, it's just spoon. It's just spoon. I don't know. I didn't think of that. Another one I didn't think of in time. All right. Well, I fell pretty short. Yeah, this is a pretty short uh, set of games today, but that's all right. I streamed today. So if you want more more games, I streamed for two hours today. So check out my live stream. Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.